time for angel readings with Bella Katrina. Hello. We just had the bells ringing. calling the angels in today I hope you can hear me to bring you love guidance and messages I also do healings but this is just angel messages today so we're just going to take the cards knock and shuffle so just have a big deep breath now and think of an intention or think of a question that you need clarity on or think of something that's worrying you Something that's very stressful, maybe. And we're going to ask for some guidance around it. We're going to ask the angels to show us maybe a different way. So let's have a little think. I ask for your collective consciousness now to just focus on anything that's troubling you. We're calling the guides, angels, and masters for protection. We ask Archangel Michael to keep us both open and receptive, grounded and protected always. And if it's a particularly heavy situation, oh, this one fell out. We used to call this a card catastrophe. Ah, so here are your cards. And this is the message they're saying this is it. So we've got enchantment, right? That's why we're outside. And we've got the unicorn of magic. Love that. And then you've got forgiveness. Forgiveness is a wonderful feeling. Forgiveness is elating. It's like one of the most beautiful things I've ever felt when I really truly got down to the core. But you know, I had to re, this is about bringing back all the missing parts of yourself they're saying this is about um, bringing your soul back to wholeness so if you've suffered with trauma or abuse or neglect you know you have to either forgive them forgive God and then forgive yourself so we're just gonna ask that the angels surround you now with power and love and protection and just repeating out loud after me I ask dear Jesus and angels that you surround me now how funny because we've got the olive tree behind us forgot to mention that so this is already the olive branch, right? So we ask that you extend an olive branch to us. That we may forgive, that we may exchange all pain, that we don't condone any behavior of abuse or narcissism or neglect or betrayal. But we now choose to release it all from our hearts. We ask Mother Mary to come in and cradle us in her arms so that we may forgive ourselves. We release all past judgments of Source and God and Creator for any times that we have lived on planet Earth and felt that we were betrayed by Him, by Source, by Creator. We ask that forgiveness now be taken from our heart, mind and psychic aura and be replaced, unforgiveness rather, and be replaced with enchantment. Do you love this card? So in this card, enchantment is, you know, um, getting out in nature, the magic of nature, the signs of nature. I find um, the crystals and the rainbow children very enchanting. So they're innocent souls they don't have any karma to release however we do that's why we have to practice forgiveness so enchantment is magical we ask that you bring the fairies into your home 
bring the fairies into your garden you can invite them in connect with the elemental kingdom with the frequency of Gaia I'm gonna do another card here because you're all being so good and patient let's ask about finances and then health and then money so finances what's your message angels for everybody watching around their finances well new love comes in <laughs> How funny asking about finance and then love shows up so new love comes in and this is a new love of life you know it's a new exciting time because of the the heaviness that we've all been through especially there's moons the eclipses so anything that you need to forgive it's gonna be worth it and you need to work on it and mother Mary helped me mother Mary she came in and I called her in though. I'm asking all the time, you know, I'm not just sitting there worrying. I'm saying, what's this? And I felt a soul fracture come back into my body. And so my whole soul's in the body. And that's what they're saying for you. So bringing your soul back together, releasing any unforgiveness, bringing in enchantment opens your heart to doing what you love. There's no more this nine to five, giving your soul, giving your life purpose to somebody else. Your life force, sorry. So if you feel like you need more life force, you need to get out in nature, you need to get connected to source and you need to slow down the mind and maybe even learn Reiki if you need to bring it down, especially if you're an empath or a healer, so that you can step into your new love, your life purpose. Look at that. The angels are surrounding you. So I was meant to do another one. So that was about finances. So let's just ask about health. They're saying next health. If you don't know, I'm a channel. I channel. So work very closely with the angels day and night, day and night. So this is about health. Many blessings are coming. So this is following your guidance as well because it's right in front of you. So often when your mind is stressed, you can't see it and it's right in front of you. Ever looked for something and it's been there the whole time? So just had a feather fly down. A Father Christmas just fell. So that's the start of the blessing. So we open to blessings. You need to open to blessings and receive them. So we're just going to say out loud right now, I now ask that all blessings be bestowed upon me now and that I release all unforgiveness so that I may receive enchantment, new love and all the blessings that are mine by divine right. And then open up your chest, open up your arms, maybe lay down on Gaia. Now we need, to, we need to be grounded, that's why I talk about Gaia all the time, to receive the blessing. As one day I was walking down the beachfront and it was a howling wind and I was very stressed about um, money. I was asking a question whether I was, I was working at a yoga studio doing Reiki healing and I was just, you know, having thinking in my head, it was worry about the money, how much money they were taking and why does he need 10% of this and 10% of that and 10% you know because it all adds up and then I was thinking about how much I was getting actually getting paid and wasn't worth my life force and what I bring and right in front of me this guy stoops down and picks up a $50 note I was like oh my gosh no I don't I don't want the money I would rather just <laughs> worry about it <laughs> so there you go I wasn't present and the angels gave me a blessing of what I was worrying about but I couldn't. So that day was massive for me. So I was like, you know, now I'm never going to miss the next $50. <laughs> I haven't found it yet. Don't miss your blessings. That's what the angels are saying. And now we're going to do love. Oh, it's very exciting. We've got finances, health, right? We've got the first two messages. So you're doing really well. Really the first two are saying that you've actually learnt forgiveness too. So this is love. Oh, ideas and inspiration so this is getting your hunches this is also connecting to source connecting to life force getting grounded and present so that you can actually receive your guidance and then we ask for courage to take action on those ideas remember when the mind slows down that's when you get the idea not when the mind speeds up so it's like slowing down to get it and there's your angel giving it to you. It's like whispering in your ear. You're not going to miss out, okay? They're saying, big thing. 
a lot of you are panicking about missing out, I'm missing out. Just know that you're in the right place at the right time and everything's working out for your highest good. And listen to the ideas and be inspired and creative. Because things are not the same now. The energy's different. You can actually move forward. You can be free. It takes trust though. So very exciting. Let's just do a final one for the angels under the olive tree. For everybody watching. <gasps> Power. Excellent. I'm going to show you your actual reading. Because I like to do a seven card layout. If you do that. So I actually have to do one more. So let's have a look at the next one. Ah, what a beautiful reading. So we have power. Do you love it? And what's that? Where's the power coming from? Can you tell me? So it's coming up from the heart, which is grounded in Gaia and anchored to the sacred heart of Jesus. But anyway. <laughs> When it is, the power that you speak is the light. The energy, <laughs> they're showing me the energy, right, of love moving through the vibration of your voice box creates light. So speak light. That's why they call it light language. We all need to have light language. We need to speak our truth from our heart. And it comes out with power. So we're anchoring love and power so that's like your heart chakra connecting to your solar plexus so that you can speak so it's like yellow which is the gold flame it's like the threefold flame the flame of power right the flame of um the pink is the higher heart and then the blue flame so a lot of you are learning to speak your truth even though it's terrifying and the last card which i had to pull is answered prayer how funny it's already answered do you realize as soon as you ask for a prayer it's already answered 95 percent of it all we have to do now is get out of the way we need to get out of the way so that we can follow our guidance here this is the energy around us summary under the olive tree messages from the angels once the, all the forgiveness is done well done that was a massive full moon eclipses we've been through so that is the past forgiveness the answered prayer is on its way to open, follow the ideas, speak your truth with power and open your heart to new love, to new passions. In fact, only do what it lights you up because it's your happiness that's the most important thing. So, wishing you angel blessings, love and light. If you would like some situation of yours cleared, you can connect with me direct as I'm a psychic reader and healer. But you already knew that. I love you. Love your light. Shine bright, starlights.